to Manchester in the UK with Colin Harding. He's a Latin American analyst. Thank you so much for, for coming on today with us, Colin. Were you surprised to see these results today that President Nicolas Maduro has won a third term? Well, it, you might describe the results as a shock, but not at all surprising. A shock in the sense that, as we've already heard, that all the opinion polls and exit polls indicated the opposition were going to win comfortably. But not surprising in the sense that President Maduro had said beforehand that uh, he was going to win uh, at all costs, by hook or by crook, and that it would be a bloodbath if he didn't. Uh, and, of course, the government has four in this respect. The 19, uh, 2018 elections are widely regarded as, as rigged. Uh, this time, it's even more of a surprise because uh, the opposition were very confident. They had united behind a single candidate. They had a very charismatic leader, in Maria Corina Machado, and uh, they were confident they were going to win, and people seem to have lost their fear of what is actually a, a, a ferocious police state. Uh, but there we are. The, the, the police states can be very effective, and they've, um, they've declared that they won't. And on that note, there were some serious questions over whether this election process would be fair after some candidates were even banned from holding office. Do we know how the votes were actually counted during the process? Uh, no, not really. Uh, well, we know what the, the, what the, what the uh, mechanisms are. There are voting machines, you press a button and then... Um... Uh, the results uh, are, are printed out on, on paper as well, and the opposition is supposed to have access to those paper receipts to see uh, what the tally is. Uh, but in many cases, they seem to appear to have been denied access to these receipts. And there's all kinds of jiggery pokery going on before the elections or, or during election day when people were denied access to polling stations, polling stations didn't open, or only uh, government supporters were allowed in. Uh, the police were standing at the the entrance to intimidate people. Uh, all the, the 8 million emigres that Venezuela suffered, about a quarter of the population, found it very difficult to vote uh, in, in other countries. Uh, you know, the, the consulates were saying, well, we haven't got voting machines or they're not working or whatever. So th there's plenty of evidence that, that you know, dubious things have been going on behind the scenes. What we don't know now, of course, as, as has been said, is, is how the opposition are going to react. And on the note of, of reactions, um, we know that a huge proportion of Venezuelans are living in poverty. They've got very high inflation. Are we expecting any sort of unrest in the country following these results today? Uh, well, it'd be surprising if there, were, if there weren't some. It depends on what, what the, uh, Maria Corina Machado, the, the opposition uh, leader, uh, urges people to do. I mean, beforehand, she was being very calm and very um, soothing and saying, let's all just turn out and vote and we'll, we'll get the result we, um, we want. Um, now this has been denied and, and, and in highly dubious circumstances, we'll have to see how she reacts. But, um, you know, the, the, there are troops and uh, heavily armed police who are already being deployed in the centre of Caracas, for instance. So they're, they're expecting trouble and we'll have to see as that transpires. Colin Harding, thank you so much for joining us live from Manchester in the UK. And we